Hi, this is Bella Mehta reporting for No Room Now from New York uh, for the ACR 23. Um, I wanted to talk to you about an interesting study I came across. Uh, this is abstract L19. So this is one of the late breaking ab abstracts for osteoarthritis. Um, and as we know, osteoarthritis in uh, the knee particularly is pretty debilitating and we don't have too many options, but we do know that corticosteroid injections work and they help relieve pain, inflammation, sort of help uh, patients deal with the symptoms. Um, and uh, this is a particular study, uh, which is a phase three uh, randomized double blind uh, three arm placebo and active control study. And the drug um, uh, that they're looking at is called TLC 599, which is a liposomal formulation of the dexamethasone sodium phosphate. So dexamethasone we usually use, but this particular formulation, um, I think the idea is to sort of make it a little more long acting and help uh, sort of sustained pain relief uh, or inflammation relief, as you call it, uh, in these patients. So um, they did uh, take a, a, a bunch of patients with osteoarthritis um, with KL scores two to three, so not very end-stage osteoarthritis, sort of mid-range, and those patients who had pain. So they had pain from at least um, a VAS of zero to 10, at least five to nine. So um, they have to have pain symptoms uh, to go into the trial along with some damage symptoms on the x-rays. And... Um, this was around 500 patients divided into three groups. The first group who received the uh, the drug, the TLC-599 at 12 milligrams. Um, and then the second group uh, received the traditional dexamethasone at 4 milligram. And the third group was, of course, the placebo. Um, these patients were given the medication initially. And then at 24 weeks, eligible patients um, who, who either received the TLC-599 before um, or the placebo, placebo arm um, had a, a second blinded injection of the same treatment uh, just to see the sustained effects and and see how these uh, the placebo arm also does uh, and of course uh, they looked at two main things which was daily pain uh, so average daily pain uh, reported by patients as well as the WOMAC pain which is pretty standard for OA trials um, and what they found was that uh, the TLC 599 was numerically superior to placebo at all time points um, uh, 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 till the week 24 and uh, particularly statistically superior at week 12 um, whereas the average daily pain was like statistically and numerically superior at all time points also those patients who received the second dose um, so this is at 24 weeks the effects sort of lasted till the 52 week period um, even though the primary endpoint was week 12 they sort of looked at how the patients did over time so it did demonstrate um, a, a benefit uh, over placebo, of course, uh, but also that uh, I think the key takeaway is that it uh, gives you some sustained relief. Um, again, I think, uh, you know, a lot of our patients do have repeat steroid injections and maybe this drug will help decrease the frequency of that. Uh, but I, I, I like that it gives you one more option. And uh, I think the study is rigorously done so that we can provide patients with um, uh, probably in the future when this is approved, uh, another option to give. Um, I, I still believe that like, a lot of hyaluronic acid formulations have not shown as much efficacy in uh, clinical trials, especially compared to placebo. So this, of course, uh, beats that. Um, and we'll see what lies in the future of osteoarthritis because I, I think there's a lot more drugs coming up. Um, so do check this abstract out and see um, what else we can do for osteoarthritis. Um, and with that, I would wrap up. Uh, uh, for, more, for more of this, follow us at, at Room Now and follow me on Bella underscore Meta at Twitter. Uh, we have a lot more interesting content. Thank you.